absolutely lovely. Just starting to uh, get a little bit slippery at the end of the stint there. Not surprising really, the temperature's a bit higher than we've seen already. Um, starting to feel it now, getting a little bit tired, so it's a place to hear when they said there was only five laps to go. <laughs> and what are you going to do now? Bit of, a bit of lunch and a rest? Uh, definitely a rest. Uh, fortunately, my Valero underwear keeps me nice and cool, so I don't need to get out of that straight away. It's worked a treat for me to be able to do over an hour in that car in this heat. I'm really pleased. The guys have given us a great car. It's been smashing. Is this harder work than race reporting? Oh, yeah, because you sit around for your turn, and then all of a sudden, it's an hour and a half of absolute mental concentration. What I'm used to doing is coming to a track and starting to work straight away. That's not been the situation here today, but uh, that's my first stint, there'll be plenty more to come. John, a stint you can be very proud of, well done mate. Thank you, thanks Andrew. Yes, he can indeed be very, very proud. His team manager gave him a target time of 2 minutes 24 to 2 minutes 26, and that's what he stuck to in very professional style. The 151 car has had problems, though, while we've been down in the pit lane with Andrew Marriott. 151's a Sork Ren Sport car, and uh, here we see... The car just letting the 153 by. This is a Cup 1 class battle. And just getting the car over the kerb. And then just having the car unsettled. And that is through turns 9 is where the car has spun. Quite harmlessly, just pirouetting through 180 degrees. He's pointing now in the direction that he really shouldn't be. He's wanting to be... He's needing to... He's going to need to turn the car... And uh, a harmless spin then from the number 151. Just going to check where that car is in the proceedings. And um, look.